Hello Jays and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be talking about timing the stock market versus time in the market and why they're important. Before we dive into it, if you're new here, make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe to this video. See you in the next video and happy investing. Ever wondered about the stock market and how it functions? This is a prevalent thought harbored by both seasoned traders and those contemplating their first venture. The stock market often draws comparisons to a vast, tumultuous ocean. Its waves brimming with opportunities to amass wealth are yet intimidating. Like a game of high stakes, its outcomes can range from monumental profits, realized ambitions, to unanticipated losses that can wipe out savings. Such unpredictability makes the stock a thrilling yet demanding arena. A common misconception perceives the stock market as a game of chance, akin to spinning a roulette wheel. This couldn't be further from the truth. Thriving in stock market requires a blend of intelligence, astute decision-making, and above all, patience. This brings us to the million-dollar question. Can, can we accurately predict the stock market's trajectory? Is it wiser to adopt a wait-and-watch approach? Now that we've delved deeper into the stock market dynamics, let's discuss two popular strategies people employ to amass wealth, timing the market and time in the market. So, what do we mean by timing the market, the market? This refers to a strategy employed by some investors to maximize returns from the stock market. The fundamental principle is to shares when prices are low and sell when they increase. However, this is not a simple task. Accurate market timing requires the ability to foresee stock price fluctuations akin to predicting the weather. Neither is an exact science, with both influenced by a myriad of factors like socio-political events, company developments, or even natural calamities. It's similar to surfing, where timing and understanding of the waves are crucial. Even then, catching the perfect wave isn't a guarantee. It requires consistent, correct decisions, knowing precisely when to purchase, sell, or hold. Each decision influences your financial objectives, either pushing you closer or further away. This strategy demands time, effort, and can be stressful. It's not equivalent to betting on a lottery, but more like gambling your own money. Furthermore, it carries significant risks. Even seasoned investors are prone to errors, which could result in substantial financial loss. So as you can see, timing the market is risky and requires experience, knowledge, and a touch of fortune. Now let's talk about time in the market. What does that mean? Ponder this analogy. You've got a seed. You can plant it now and let it grow, or wait for ideal moment. If you keep waiting, you might never plant the seed. The same concept applies to investing. Time in the market implies long-term investing akin to nurturing your seed, or in letting it flourish. It's about patience and withstanding rapid market fluctuations. This approach incorporates compound interest. Albert Einstein lauded compound interest as the eighth world wonder, essentially earning from your earnings, much like a snowball growing as it descends it descends a hill. This method bypasses the risk of the optimal buying or selling time. The stock market's unpredictability leaves even experts often clueless, hence long-term investors stay stay invested, Experiencing the market's highs and research indicates missing out on the best market days can reduce your earnings. Thus, by remaining invested, you ensure your presence during the best market days. In conclusion, time in the market embraces patience, discipline, and compound interest magic. It's not an express richness route but a journey leading to potential financial growth and stability. As we've seen, it's better and safer to spend time in the market rather than trying to guess the best time to invest. So, should you focus on timing the market or spending time in the market? Let's simplify that question question together. Picture timing the market as a roller coaster ride. Thrilling, nerve-wracking, and unpredictable. It's akin to selecting the to jump in, that is to purchase your shares, then fasten your seatbelt, and hold on. You anticipate the perfect moment to jump out and sell. It might sound very enticing and adrenaline pumping, let me assure you, it's far from easy. To undertake this endeavor, you require a deep and comprehensive understanding of market trends, an ability to read in between the lines of market between the lines of market indicators, and of markets are notoriously unpredictable and even seasoned experts, despite their vast knowledge and years of experience, can't can't predict the market's behavior with absolute precision. There are simply too many variables at play. On the other hand, spending time in the market is more like a leisurely slow train ride through beautiful landscapes. Here, it's not about adrenaline rushes or picking the perfect moment to buy or sell, but about the comforting notion of letting your investments mature and over time. Think of it as planting a seed and patiently waiting for it to sprout, bloom, and thrive, 
all while you maintain a nurturing environment. This strategy has been tried and tested, been tried and tested over the years by countless financial professionals and experts. It's often the go-to recommendation for beginners. Why? Because less need for you to hover over the market constantly, monitoring, monitoring every single move, every single fluctuation. It's about trusting the process and understanding things take time. Now, you might wonder, should you invest when the market is high? The simple and straightforward answer is yes. Aiming to time the market isn't about guessing the best moment instead, it's about consistency, and more importantly, patience. It's about understanding that market fluctuations are natural and inevitable. So, although both strategies, timing the market and spending and spending time in the market, have their respective pros and cons, devoting time in the market emerges as a generally safer, reliable bet for the vast majority of investors. Why? Because investing isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. It's a long-term commitment that requires patience, consistency, and a clear understanding of your financial goals. So remember, investing is a long-term commitment. Happy investing!